Hi everyone, Donna Winter here. Welcome to my video featuring a new product from Stampin' Up's new annual catalog. All the products featured in this video are available to purchase on my website. I'd love to have you shop with me. I'll also post the directions and all the products I use below in the description section. Thank you so much for watching. The stamp set that I'm showcasing today comes from the Forever Greenery Suite on page 108. The suite, if you buy the whole suite together, includes the Forever Fern Bundle, which is the stamp set and the dies, the Forever Gold Laser Cut Specialty Paper, the Forever Greenery DSP, the Greenery Embossing Folders, Gold Hoops, and the Forever Greenery Trim, which is the, the ribbon here. So here is the stamp set here. We're going to use four of the images in the stamp set. The hello, the to a friend that makes me smile, the small leaves, and the large leaf that we're going to be cutting out with the, um, the, with the dies. So here's the cute card I'm going to demonstrate for you today. It's a fancy fold card and it uses some of the DSP from the suite, some of the elements from the gold foil paper and the dies and the trim. If you open it up, you'll see the fold. And I'll show you how to do the fold. These are the pieces that you're going to need for your card. So we have a pretty peacock, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Your DSP piece is five and a quarter by four. And then the other DSP piece, the smaller one that's coordinating, four by two and a half. We have the stitched die or the stitched rectangle die. It's the third from the largest. And if you don't have the die, you can measure uh, three inches by four and a quarter. You're going to need one of those. Also, um, the other stitched rectangle die is the fourth from the largest. You want to cut two of those. If you don't have the die, you can cut two and five eighths by four inches. And then the inside piece, three and three quarters by two and a half. I'm going to show you how to cut the front. Okay, so I have scored this at um, four and a quarter. Hopefully you can see that there. I'm going to get the trimmer in here. And let me move these stamps for now. Hopefully you can see the trimmer. So um, this is an eight and a half by five and a half piece and I'm going to line it up at two and three quarters here and we're going to take the cutter and we are going to cut to the score line. Okay, nice and gentle cut to the score line right there. Okay. All right, so then you're gonna hold this towards you, all right, and fold it like you would your card. And this is the piece that you're gonna be cutting off. So I'm gonna line that up and I'm, I'm gonna put that right up there and I'm gonna cut that off, okay? And that's all you have to do. Okay, taking some of your card pieces, here's your base card. We're going to start layering up with the DSP. I use the liquid glue for this. This piece you're going to put in the front. You're going to make sure it's even all the way around. You want to make sure you only put glue on half of the piece or, it, or you'll make a mess. Uh, I'm going to make sure that that's even-ish. And that's the base card. Alright, so now I'm going to stamp on my pieces. I have my pear pizzazz and one of the die cut or the measured piece. This one it happens to be the measured one. I'm going to stamp off first. I'm going to stamp three times and that will be the background on the front of your piece. Okay. 
This is the inside piece and I'm going to use a small leaf for that. Stamp off again. One, two, three. And then this is the inside piece. Again, this particular one isn't the one with the die cut, but it's measured. It's the measured piece. Make sure this is going the right way. And that's the sentiment for the inside. Now I want to stamp the piece that gets die cut with Pretty Peacock, stamping off, stamping it, and then I will be die cutting it with this die cut. Okay, so now that I have all the pieces ready, we can put the card together. So I'm going to take the inside piece, glue that here. Leave a little bit of a border going around. And this piece goes here. And then I wanted to cover that line there that you get when you put the front piece on. And it does, it covers it nicely. You can't really tell it's there once it goes on. So that's the card and now we'll put this together. So first, I'm going to be using this trim, this fabulous trim. It comes in the suite. We're going to wrap it around our fingers one, two, three times. Put it together. Trim with the scissors. Put a little piece of scotch tape. You're not going to see it. It's going to be covered just easier to hold the little pieces together and it gives the glue something to stick to also. Alright, so we're going to put that right about there. With some liquid glue. I'm going to take the vellum piece next and I'm just putting a little bit of glue on the stem and a couple of the leaves on the bottom. I don't want a lot. And this is where your fingers get sticky. Oh, come on. Here we go. Here's my gold piece. It's a little different than the other one I had on the card. That one. And then the stamped piece is going to go on. And I think I'm going to tuck it under the gold. Right like that. So then here is this cool piece. I love this piece. I think I've used all the pieces in this set already. I'll try and put it toward the center. And now I've got the ink to ink up my hello. And I want to punch that out with the classic label punch. And I'm going toward one side because I'm going to make it a little smaller. What you're going to do is you're going to put it back into the punch and make your label smaller to fit your sentiment. And this is going to go on with dimensionals. And you're going to put it right across there. And this is what the finished card is going to look like with the hello.
So I hope you enjoyed the project today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.